Legends away, so dubs on the run No turtle is safe, when he's on the hunt Witness the sack, just give it a rub Cause who knows what you'll find, toy hunting with dub Hey everybody, it's a Wednesday toy hunt video. We've got Seductive Steve with us on the toy hunt. Steve's here this weekend for 4th of July. Uh, on Sunday's episode of Dub Life, you're gonna see a lot of Steve eating weird stuff, which is everybody's favorite, as well as toy hunt, some of that stuff. But it is, for us, uh, July 2nd. And uh, for you, that means it is July. Don't forget to use the hashtag BDubFit in July. We're gonna talk about the way the giveaways are gonna work in July at the end of this video. But before we go any further, we need to figure out who won the month of June giveaway. So we're gonna hand it back off to past, just slightly past dub, and find out who won all the giveaways. Steve, are you excited? Do you hope you won the giveaway? Steve doesn't watch the content, so there's probably no way he's won the giveaway, but you know, maybe. Oh my goodness, honk. Thank you, past dub. Let's talk about our June giveaway winners. We're gonna start with this awesome prize here. The signed NECA April O'Neil Beat Up Fit. Congrats, baby, signed by Judith Ho. And if you remember, the way you could win this prize was on the video April is Dub Fit. <clears throat> you had to leave an update, your progress report for so far, the first six months. And I was gonna let all of you vote on it. So whichever one got the most likes was gonna be the winner. And I know that some people uh, had family members that shared the video and had other people like it. Uh, some people didn't. I didn't really clarify how to handle that. Um, but ultimately, if people read somebody's update, liked it, supported it, that's a positive thing. Uh, so let's see who ended up winning this April figure. Could still shot a Victoria. So there it is. April is dub fit. We have 114 likes on that video that I like. 132 comments. A lot of them are sub comments. So if you remember, we wanted people to post what they've been doing. Use the hashtag BDubFit, TMNT. And uh, let's look for likes. So we're going to look for the top numbers. One, one. A lot of these are more recent. A lot of the people that posted on, on the day one are going to have the most likes. Uh, I would encourage you all to come read this. So seven, Chuckalock, currently in first place with seven likes. That's what we're looking for. Ish has seven. There's a tie at seven. We got Dakota Terry, 62, with 10 likes, double digit, for six months. It's honestly been a wild ride. So you see, this is a long post. I would encourage you all to go read these long posts and see what people are doing. So currently, Dakota Terry, 62. I don't know what I just did. I have made a mistake. I'm clicking it. I'm keeping it live so you can see. I'm not editing this. Uh, let's see where we were at. Tim O-ish. Dakota Carey. Terry. Ten likes. He's in first place. Uh, Joseph has nine likes. Collector Who Laughs, eight. Chili D, nine. Plastic Life, seven. Uh, King Bob. So currently tied with ten likes. Uh, I would appreciate people to go read these comments. David has nine, El Vampiro, Bri, uh, Bri, do where's the fig, seven. A lot of people with feedback. You see lots of people giving comments. I tried to comment on all of them. Uh, Eugene, 21 likes. Let's read what Eugene has to say. Let's see. It's probably a lot. Yeah, it's a big one. So I'd encourage you to go read Eugene. Looks like he's lost some weight. He's got the support of his wife. Uh, let's see if anybody's going to beat that number. 21, the number to beat. Uh, collecting with Durs, 18 likes. That's good. Well, I remember that comment with the two hearts. Really appreciate that comment. I don't feel like I replied to that. I apologize. Nine likes, Tony, Richard, eight. Century with 10. I know my man Ron wasn't attempting to win this. So we had two with 10, one with 18. And our winner, Eugene E. with 21. So congratulations, Eugene E. You are the winner of the April is Dub Fit. So what you need to do on Instagram, hopefully you can also do it on Facebook, send me your information. Hey, I won the April figure. Uh, this is me, Eugene E. Here's my mailing information. I'll try to confirm that it's you, making sure it's not somebody trying to steal it from you. Uh, but what I also want to do, so collecting with Durs had, I think, 18 likes. You also won a prize this month. So you are the first winner out of the prize box. I'll show you the prize box in a picture coming up. 
collecting with Durs, the number one selection in the prize box. Then the next person I came to that was double digits was Dakota Terry 62. You are a winner from the prize box. You will select second. And King Bob, you will select third. All of those with double digit likes. Um, all four of you. So uh, Eugene gets the April figure. The other three, you can pick first, second, third out of the prize box. I'll go over that again here in a minute. Uh, but to make sure that everybody could enter, because some people didn't enter the one with hashtag beat up it and TMNT, I'm going to pick two other winners. That means six prizes being given away here in the sixth month of the year, the month of June. So I'm going to pick two more winners from two random videos, and then we'll have our list of June giveaway winners. So let's find those videos. Here we go. 18 videos for the month of June. Let's spin it. We're going to pick two videos to pick from. So let's see which ones they're going to be. Ooh, a Monday motivation about celebrate. That's the first one. Remove. And let's find the second one. So celebrate Monday motivation, which is going to be a pretty focused group. Oh, and the most recent hunt video, new Motu. Monday motivation celebrate and new Motu. This is the Monday Motivation. We're going to pick a random comment. 17. This will be the, I think, fifth or fourth picker. It is the Indo Nerd. I just hit up a toy show and the walking around and getting new coverage for my channel was awesome. Hashtag beat up fit. Congratulations, the Indo Nerd. All right, here we go again. I've got it ready. Loaded 12 comments. This is the new Motu. Let's pick a winner. Slacker Hacker. Bought new bikes for the wife and I. Can't wait to start riding on the weekends. Got to start slow. I haven't rode a bike since I was a kid. Congrats, Slacker Hacker. So those are the winners. Uh, let's go over it again. Uh, Eugene E., winner of the April figure that you see right there. Now, here are the five people in order that get to pick from the prize box. I'm going to put pictures up as I'm talking. Uh, so you can look through them and pick whatever it is that you want from the pictures. If you want to ask clarification questions, that's fine. You need to message me either on Instagram or on Facebook, preferably Instagram, and say, hey, I am this person. Here are my top three choices, one, two, three, of your prizes you want. What I have to do is let all five of you message me, and you have a tier ranking light. So first, Collecting with Durs gets first pick. Second is Dakota Terry, 62. Third is King Bob. Fourth, the Indo Nerd. Fifth, Slacker Hacker. That way, uh, that's that's the order I picked it in. It, it, I mean, honestly, it's random, but that's the order it got picked in. So that's I have to have a tier ranking. That way, people don't all want the same thing, and I have no fair way to, to discern who gets what. So y'all get it free. What you need to do is message me. Say, here are my top two or three options in order, and here's my shipping address and information. As soon as all five people have messaged me, um, Eugene, you just need to send me your shipping info. As soon as everybody's messaged me, I have it all. I'll sort out who gets what. I'll tell you what you're getting. I'll make sure you're good with it. I'll confirm your shipping address and it'll get out the door. It usually takes me four or five days with work and everything else. And it really, it takes the longest for everybody to watch the video and contact me. Uh, so six prizes given away in the month of June. Uh, hopefully I've shown you all the pictures. There's a lot of cool stuff. There's a few new things we added. July is going to change, and Future Dub's going to talk to you about that here at the end of this hunt video that you're watching. Uh, but we've given away a ton of stuff. If I look at it, 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 15, 20, 26 prizes, I think is what we've given away in the first six months of the year. That's a lot. I mean, 26 prizes, that's say an average of $20 prize, four or 500 bucks. So uh, we've given that away for hashtag beat up fit. And I don't think we've had any repeat winners, very few repeat winners. Uh, you'll hear about the new July. Everything starts fresh. Everybody starts fresh. Nobody's won how we are going to start in July. So everything starts over for the second half of the year. But thank you all for entering. The thing I encourage you the most, go to that April is, is dub fit video. Read all the testimonies that people have written, all the long statements talking about the ways they've improved their life. Uh, and we're going to see more of that type of video coming up in the future because I really want to spread that positivity and let everybody see, you know, what this movement is about. So share it with your family, share it with your friends, let them like so that you have a better chance when that's fine. I decided that's fine because it's more eyeballs on positive messages and we want that. We want that. That's what we want more than anything. So I'm going to hand it back off to future dub and Steve probably up to no good. Congrats to the winners. Reach out to me on Instagram. Tell me what you want. We'll get it figured out. And July winners are coming soon. Hand it back off to Future Dub. We're just going to say that honk was in celebration for all of the winners 
of the June giveaway. Congratulations to all of you, uh, the April winner, and then the other June hashtag beat up fifth winners. Now, we're going on a hunt video. I got Steve with us. We're gonna go to a Target and a Walmart. We specifically have to go to Walmart because I need a picture frame for a picture frame that got damaged. We need some more hot dogs and hamburgers because we're having a bunch of people over tomorrow for barbecue. And uh, Steve said he wanted to look at Marvel Legends. What? Steve bought two six scale figures today. You'll see that on Dub Life Sunday. But we're gonna go to Target, we're gonna go to Walmart. Steve, you excited to be on a Wednesday hunt video? Absolutely. Are you excited to find out what the July, as we enter the second half of hashtag B Dub Fit for the year, how the July giveaways are gonna work to be a little bit different because the environment and where we are at is very different than it was when we started. So we got to pivot the giveaway a little bit. Are you excited to see what that means? Oh, yes. We'll find out after Walmart, but first we've got Target. I would like to find new G.I. Joe. I would like to find that. Mall Georgia Target, Steve's where we're at. What are you hunting for here at this Target? Mecca Funko section? Absolutely no, nothing? Not really. Steve's anything. a toy elitist. What are, you, what are you looking for, nothing? Nothing. Are you excited to cook out tomorrow with, oh, yeah, with yeah. everybody? You'll see that on Dub Life coming up on Sunday. Uh, G.I. Joe is what I would like to find here. There may be some new Motu. But, you know, maybe we can just get Steve to bury himself in some toys. Is that possible? What are the chances you purchase something here, Steve? Uh, Steve is more than likely to use the link for the Big Bad Toy Store. Have you been clicking my link, Steve, to help out, help the channel out? Big Bad Toy Store link. Um, it really brow, helps. But I, haven't. I haven't heard yet from them what the July update will be, but I'll let you all know. And no, probably Friday's video, you get to hear that. And uh, we're almost, to f I think we're closing to 4,900 subscribers, 5,000. I want to give stuff away. I have too much stuff to give away. Oh, thank you. Everywhere we go. They love the shirt, Steve. Everywhere we go. Oh. It is 4th of July weekend. Do we need, oh, 10% off? Oh, for military. It's not off. Do so you remember the time that we were together in the beach putting those off? Yeah. And you were talking. Should we get some of this? I was talking what? You're talking trash to people down the beach because they had like these super expensive fireworks. You're like forty seven dollars and ninety cents. I would just like yeah. Because I mean you they'd know, spent ten thousand we dollars on fireworks. We didn't have a lot of money. Back. No, I was proud of myself for our poppets, mad trolls. Would you rock that outfit? What are you laughing about, Steve? What's you? What are you laughing about, Steve? Yeah. Nothing. Off camera antics. Yeah. You talked about showing your butt cheeks to a Target employee. Is that a true or false statement? I said Woo! About that. We got trapped by the AT&T yeah. internet people, but we were able to escape with our lives. <laughs> Barely. Which I, which I do have AT&T. So. I do too. We didn't tell a lie. They have a lot of that alpha class. Oh, I thought that was somebody else going to try to sell us AT&T internet. Put the dip again. This one's good. Bought this one too because you can get the socks and the figure arts, which looks amazing. It doesn't have the socks. Which is a miss on their part, but I bet they'll find another way to re-release it. Uh, Steve, here's a Tuscan Raider. Oh, here's the client. Do you want that? The client with the with the face. With the face. Pop it. Short troopers. I mean, this is just in disarray. Oh, there's a socks down there with that buzz light here. Boba. Is there a Bing Bong? No. It's your friend who loves to play, you know? Mickey Mouse. This Disney section has uh, progressively gotten more unorganized since I started filming it. Ghost Spider. Price right daily. You want that, Steve? For your What's loins? What? That. For your loins, right there. Tuck it in your shorts, yeah? No. Oh. Oh, Did that please you? No. Oh. Please them, I think. I got some new Harry Potter Lego sets, I think. I feel like the Hogwarts carriage and Thrustrals I haven't seen. Serious Rescue, have I seen that? There's a, like, Shrieking Shack and Walker. I don't think I've seen that. I'm pretty sure I haven't seen the Dragon. Partially Drank Mountain Dew. I don't think I've seen the <laughs> Ministry of <laughs> Partially Drank Mountain Dew, that's true. That's true, Steve. Maybe that's uh, here for you. Any Lego down here that we need? What about the Etch a Sketch, Steve? Um, no. A little Etch a Sketch. Yeah, a little Etch a Sketch. This is the Iron Man helmet. You were thinking about purchasing that one? No. It's not that one. No, not that one. No. 
Spirograph, any Pokemon? Oh, there's Pokemon, Shining Fates, Big Pikachu, Cleavor. What's this one? What am I seeing here? Radiant Eevee. What packs are in there? Pokemon Go. Huh. I know we don't have that, and I'm not familiar with what the Pokemon Go packs would be. That's a curiosity. I don't know if we have that 10. So you're wrestling. Diamond Kings. Nope. What you looking at, Steve? Wing nut and screw this all. The Hall of Fawn section's still up. Yeah, it's all in the place. I had to, I had to educate my son on wing nut because we were playing the game. He's like, Daddy, who is that flying creature? I was like, that's wing nut. Is it wing nut? Oh. Did he like it? Sure, yeah. Did wing nut make him happy? Not much there. Oh, here's this pizza monster. Pizza monster is a good figure. ETB over here, man, it is in disarray in this. Yeah, that's a good, a good figure. That's something you would consider buying. At least consider. A Pokemon there, Savage He-Man, Miro, 35 bucks or something, probably. Man, the wrestling section is just wrecked. Ooh, what do you reckon happened to that faker right there? Oh. What do you think that's about? Unknown? Yeah. I guess maybe that's the wash that they have on that anniversary He-Man people complain about. I hadn't really paid attention to that before. Chilling out. Minions. Sure we'll see a fair amount of that coming up. Releasing Rampage back, Steve. That's for you or no? These great big. Is there anything on these end caps? Oh, here's the Thor end cap. Right. With yeah, Infinity no, Killmonger. No, yeah, you 3150. You want that Thor for 3150? What about this Gore Marvel Legends? What about Thor and the Blue Jeans Marvel Legends? I don't know how much our 2299 looks like. Not for you? Not for me. Not anymore. What about this big big Killmonger? No. no? Fortnite figures from Hasbro. I saw the Foosh did a man cake review. That's the first time I've seen, I think, any review. Another wing nut? You want that wing nut for your loins, Steve? No? I'm not going to get anything for his loins. Here's a armored Batman Superman 2 pack. This Target is just. Stuff is everywhere. <laughs> it really is. It's just everywhere. Road Dog. The D O double G. Uh, there's a lot of pops. John, ha that's a kind of a cool pop. The Target exclusive Hammond at the Jurassic Park gates. That's kind of cool. What about thinking cap, Dustin? Safety. That Pokemon Go thing I'm interested in. Super Mario Chess. Let's see what's over here. Anything here? Boneless. Oh, gee, I, uh, more pops. John Hammond has taken a dive. Chewbacca Galactic Convention exclusive. Uh -huh. He's taking a dive. Taking a dive, Steve. Oh, the... That's the first time I've seen those. The page punchers. Little figures with the comic. Yeah. I mean, that's not for me, but I can see that being something somebody may want. Display's decent. I think they're cheap. Maybe like 10, 12 bucks. Be for the kiddos. G.I. Joe, gung ho. I like the way my Super 7s look. I think uh, we'll probably show those in dub life. There's this. So I need the Wonder Woman that comes with that Starro because I'm building that Starro, Steve. I'm building that Starro. Oh, the big. Yeah. There's a Wonder Woman. That's the next one. I don't think anything else. Coronation Star Scream. This is bad comedy. I guess we'll go to the Neca Funko section now. Ted Lasso party game, Steve. I believe and believe. I believe, Steve. I believe. Oh, I believe and believe. I believe, Steve. Do believe. you believe? I believe. Do you believe? Mm-hmm. I believe, Steve. I believe. Believe. Mm-hmm. <sighs> the weird Neca section. Oh, yeah, that's new. The uh, no. demolition gremlins. 
ghost face muck everlast at least it's new to me i only just started seeing it recently uh i mean the store is so confusing how many different places look at this I mean, it's, <laughs> town I mean, here grief. this is like, this is a dirt cheap like it's just piled up. Oh, I haven't seen this in a while. Terminator 2. Hmm. We're having that and for no reason. Are you hot for Hopper? No? Maybe. Here's the Bon. Uh, yes, I got it for $9 for her from uh, GameStop. Monkey Delafi. I don't think there's anything here I mean, this, that we this need. This is literally like a dirt cheap item. Yeah. Will you lay seductively across it so I can take a thumbnail? I mean, what do you define as... Thank you. I think that turned out great, don't you? Just in case you didn't see the thumbnail, I'm going to put it right here. Right here so you can see Steve laying seductively in the middle of the dirty floor of Target in front of all of this. It's right here. Steve, did you feel happy about that? Sure. We're going to go outside. I don't think we're buying anything here unless Steve is. We'll talk to you about the way the July giveaways are going to work. We'll wrap this thing up. We are going to go to Walmart. You'll catch that in Friday's hunt video. Uh, but let's let's get outside and tell you how July is going to work. There's over 20... What? Huh? <laughs> Do you believe, Steve? I believe. We're back in the vehicle. Did you purchase anything, Steve? No. no. no nothing there. Uh, but we might purchase something in the next video. Find out in Friday's hunt video. Uh, but congratulations to giveaway winners. Let's talk about July. So what we're going to do, because inflation, I think, is hitting everybody pretty hard right now. It's challenging for everybody. Uh, whether it's truly impacting like your bottom line or not, maybe, maybe not. But it's probably slowing you down a little bit. Gas prices, everything else. So rather than me giving you action figures and purchasing action figures that people don't, you know, sometimes people want, sometimes they don't. And then I'm paying a lot of money to ship it and get supplies and stuff from uh, to other companies. That I don't, that's not my intent. Uh, we're going to pivot it. So from now on, or at least for until I change it again, for July, we're giving away four prizes. Same way. Use the hashtag BWFit in every video. Tell me something, one positive thing you did for yourself today this week, this month, whatever. Uh, do not copy and paste over and over again. People that it look like are saying the same general thing, or if you post a bunch of videos on the same day, I'm not going to count it. I'm just not going to count it. You need to be, po you know, it doesn't mean you have to watch my videos as they're released, but if all of a sudden you post 10 times in 10 minutes and it says, I did this, I did this, I did this, I did this. No, you didn't. You didn't do that today. That's not true. So watch them. And as you watch them, leave a comment. Don't just try to win the giveaway. I'm going to just not, I'm going to try to prevent that from happening as best I can. But what we're going to do, instead of giving you an action figure to try to help offset with inflation, I'm giving away four prizes. We'll pick it randomly, just like we have been using beat up fit. And you will win a $25 PayPal deposit. That's what it's going to be. So we're giving away a hundred bucks every month for hashtag beat up fit. So you win, you give me your PayPal email, you get 25 bucks, friends and family, that can help you with the tank of gas, it can help you with the increased cost of Marvel Legends, whatever, I don't care. Use it however you want to, straight cash in the pocketbook, because I feel like that is a better way to, I'm spending $100 or more on this giveaway every month anyway, I feel like that's a better use, it can actually help you in a way that may help you more. Uh, so that's what it's going to be. If you don't have PayPal, don't enter. I'm not going to try to figure it out. You got to have PayPal. That's just the way it's got to be, right? I got to make this very simple, very easy to do. It will be a $25 for winners and you win that. That's the way it's going to be. Rather than, I mean, so one of the, one of the give, I think May, I spent $92 at UPS to ship away the four prizes. Oh, really? I don't want to do that. That's silly. Like, why do I want to give UPS that money, right? I'm just going to give it to you all. So four $25 paypal drops we'll pick them the same way we have been uh and hopefully that helps you out helps with inflation helps offset some of the gas prices buys you half a tank of gas whatever should hopefully make a little bit of a difference in your life or allows you to you know buy an extra marvel legend whatever the case may be you can get what you want um if we continue to have success with big bad toy store we may increase that amount we'll find out but that's where we're going to be you think that's a good price steve oh, you get, yeah, would you be happy if you want a 25 dollars paypal distribution in sure, your pocketbook, yeah. would you prefer to have Marvel Legend or $25 right now? I prefer $25 right yeah. now. Yeah, even though I don't know if $25 can buy you a Marvel Legend, but that's not my fault. 
So we're going to wrap up this hunt video. You'll see more of Steve on Friday's hunt video and on Sunday's Dub Life. It is very hot in this car because we're in Georgia and the air conditioner is not on and it's sweaty yeah. things. So we'll talk to you next time. Steve, what do they need to do for uh, the rest of the week? Congratulations to the winners, all that. Also, I do have bigger uh, beat-up fit type prizes to give away. We'll talk about those in the Friday video. So stay tuned for that. What should they do, Steve? They should rub it. Well, they should rub it. Steve's yeah. changing it up. They should rub it. That's going to put a lot of sweat in there. And squeeze it. And squeeze it. Mm-hmm.